Hello everyone and welcome to the city of Winchester. A city of course because of its cathedral, Winchester Cathedral. Um, it's a city based in Arthurian legend and more history than you can shake a stick at. But I'm not here to uh, dive deep into the ancient Roman history of, of Winchester. I'm here to fish one of, well, probably the most famous rivers in the entirety of the south of England, the River Itchen. The River Itchen is one of the most famous um, chalk streams in the entirety of the south of England. It's famous, of course, for its trout fishing. Um, being a chalk stream, it's absolutely perfect conditions for trout to thrive. Um, there's lots of trout, as I say, there's scrailing, uh, but there are a few coarse fish as well, lots of roach and things, and the bit that runs through Winchester holds all of these fish though it is mostly for trout. But, confession time, I've never fly fished, and that would be the perfect way to target these trout. But today I've got my float rod with me, I've got my centre pin, I've got a little stick float on the line just there, I've got a few maggots on the hook, and I'm hoping to just catch anything really. I'll probably catch a few trout, maybe I'll catch a grayling, um, and if there are any nice little coarse fish in here, I'm going to go for them as well. This stretch, which runs through uh, Winchester, well, most of it anyway, is free to fish, absolutely free. However, that does make it tricky to fish. Mostly because when people do fish it and catch a trout, they just take the fish home and eat, which is a crying shame. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything of the sort. The fish I catch will be going straight back into the water um, because that's where they belong. But... Oh yeah, as I say, it could be tricky. There's every chance today that I won't catch anything at all. But there's no better place to be than fishing by a river. Um, so even if I catch nothing and I blank, there's worse things to be doing with your life. That is 100% sure. Oh, God, took that <laughs> near enough instantly. It can only be a trout. I've only got a three pound line on. Uh, so <laughs> it's a bit of a tussle. Especially for all this weed and reeds. And the water is extremely fast here. So getting it upstream could be an issue. Might have to do a run and get right down. Ah, oh, it's come off, come off. Ah, oh, what a shame. Let's get another bait out there. I can still see a few fish out there. And we'll see if we can get another one. Actually, the bait's still on there. Let's pop it back out again. Swing and out we go. And down, that's it's really, really fast water here. That didn't take too long. It's only a little one. Ah, beautiful little brownie. Where are we? Let's get him here. Okay. <laughs> slide up the arm. Here we go. Lovely little brown trout. Look how spotted he is. Beautiful red spots and the black spots and the markings. Classic sign of a little brown trout. Fantastic. Love the maggots. Look. Oh. Okay, okay. Alright, let's get the hook out. Oh, he's caught in a really awkward spot. There we go. <laughs> right in between his, his teeth. They have quite sharp teeth, quite predatory the trout are, of course. There he is. Beautiful little fish. Mwah, pop him back.
decided to stop pestering those little trout in the really shallow water and I'm going to head down to the other side of Winchester to where the River Itchen actually gets fairly deep. Um, that's more of the places where the coarse fish are likely to be. So I'm going to head down this river and see if I can find any. Incidentally, I did actually catch another trout whilst I was there, but I had a bit of an audience, so I didn't <laughs> film it. There were some lovely ladies from the houses opposite who were watching me and talking to me the whole time. And I love that, teaching people about fish and how to correctly unhook them and put them back. God, what a gorgeous bit of river. Look at that. A lot of the problem here, of course, is um, that it's um, easy enough to catch the fish, but the water's so fast, it's tricky getting them out. I've only got a three pound line on, and the flow is crazy fast. So getting the fish back up water is, is tricky. You almost have to run downstream, so you have to plan it a bit beforehand. That you've got a bit of space to run downstream to actually net the fish. Lovely. This is one of my favourite bridges in Winchester to stand and stare. Her polarised sunglasses so you can see everything. It's a beautiful, beautiful bit of river this. Only wish you could fish it. Um, you can see all sorts of fish in here milling around. And actually this is one of my favourite spots to spot. You can be very, very rare animal now, the water vole. Just down along this edge here. I've spent many a time watching water voles running around and gathering bits of reed and dipping into the water. Stunning, stunning bit of river. I mean, you can see over there now, look. Look at all of them. Can't quite make out what they are. Probably, well, I don't know. They could be trout, it could be grain, they could be roach. Great big collection of them all just sat there in the shallows. Uh, I don't know, what do you reckon? Maybe grayling? Hard to tell isn't it you can pop some comments into the uh, comments box below the video and put your thoughts down as to what you think they might be I mean they could be roach if they're roach they're very very big roach there's a few more up here as well buzzing around god what what would I give what would I give to better wade out there look, and just pop a line in that give my right arm Sadly, of course, that bit of the river, those wonderful fish, is private fishing. This bit of the river is far better fished in the winter. All this bankside vegetation means you can't quite get to the water. The water's very clear and I can see there's no fish in it, mind you. This is a much more difficult area of the river to fish, though much more beautiful. I've caught some uh, amazing grayling out of here before, in the winter time. And they sort of hold up in little holes and you can see them and drop the uh, Drop the maggots onto their nose. Oh, that fish? No, a bit of weed. Hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> so I'm sort of, at the moment, I'm just sort of peeking over the edges. Going to be hard to catch anything in it. Well, not hard to catch probably, but hard to land anything. So you need to be sort of always thinking forward about how you're going to, not just how you're going to catch the fish, but how you're going to get the fish in. You may have to do a little run down the bank. I'm going to keep peeking over the edges and see what I can see. Ha ha ha! What I've been doing is trying to catch a little tiny fish. I've been watching a trout in the margins eating minnows. So, 
I've hooked myself a little teeny tiny minnow and I'm going to pop him on the hook and see if I can catch a trout on him. Who knows? Well, that was a nice plant, <laughs> but I don't think the trout's going to stick around with these guys in the swim. Oh well, that would have been nice to catch a trout on a minnow. <laughs> Literally where that swan is, that's where the trout was. <laughs> the white swan that is. Go away, go away. He might come back if you're not there. <sighs> This part of the river Itchen is particularly hard to fish. It's very, very low and shallow. It's very, very clear as you can see. So you're sort of trying to pinpoint a very, very odd fish, but you can see in amongst little bits of weed and stuff that's around. Any real chance of getting him is to see a fish and try and snipe it out with a little bit of bait. Um, because the water is so shallow and so slow the fish have plenty of time to look at the bait and think oh no I'm not eating that I'm not having that for my breakfast um, as you can see yeah it's just so shallow uh, I've seen the odd little trout and plenty of minnows loads of little minnows but I'm going to head on downstream because at this point it's become a lovely lovely riverside walk <laughs> and um, I'm just going to see if I can see any more fish um, there's a little bridge further down, there might be a few round there. There's a big deep hole as the water flows under the bridge and I'm just peering into its gloomy depths to see any sign of fish movement to see maybe if I just stand over there I might be able to cast over with my rod and um, snag something that's in there but I can see perfectly clear you can't really see on the camera, but I've got my polarised sunglasses on. I can see perfectly clear, but there's nothing there. <laughs> Over this side of the bridge, I see the reason why there isn't. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. <laughs> when you get beyond the road bridge, the river here becomes very very slow it's almost like fishing a canal um, and it's near enough devoid of fish I told a lie there there's plenty of fish in here <laughs> if you don't mind catching little teeny tiny minnows but every now and then as you walk along in this little area you'll see some little teeny tiny pike so I'm going to keep this little minnow, much like I was doing with the trout, and I'm going to see if I can find one. Still hunting those pike. They're hard to see in the water, but I think I might have one in front of me here. Chances of me getting him? Zero. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. And I walk back across the field and up the river again. There's never really anything further on down from actually in Winchester Centre itself. Um, whether it's because uh, people feed the ducks up there and therefore feed the fish or whether it's because the water is a bit more rapid trout do love fast flowing water don't they it's going through their gills to get a lot of air into them not entirely sure anyway I need the exercise that is one thing absolutely for certain had a bit of a loss today though uh, I've lost a few fish, of course, but at some point today, my stand, which I put my phone um, in to do the recordings, so I can sound really far back, uh, has gone AWOL. <laughs> I've obviously put it down somewhere to do a little bit of fishing, and um, well, that's where it stayed. I didn't pick it back up again, apparently. Um, oh, dog chasing me. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a quick look. And see, <laughs> have a quick look 
along the way back and see if I can find it. I very much think it's gone. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening anymore. Where am I? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> He's going mental. Whose dog is it? <laughs> dog? <laughs> there he is. Here he comes. <laughs> Oh, the things that happen when you're fishing, eh? <laughs> you're not my dog, go away. <laughs> Those other trout and I've caught another one lovely spotty brownie again beautiful colors predatory eyes sharp teeth gorgeous gorgeous spots beautiful well ladies and gents I couldn't go having walked up and down the beautiful river Itchen running through Winchester about popping back to the place where I started today and I knew there were a few trout and catching one more beautiful spotted brownie gorgeous gorgeous much better in the winter I would say here the cover as I was mentioning earlier on disappears um, and the water levels tend to rise a little bit and the bit further down just becomes absolutely beautiful though as I did mention right from the beginning if you're very very lucky indeed if you catch a couple of fish on sort of a, a half day's fishing in fact there's a few fish milling around just there um, thank you very much for watching this episode um, subscribe to my channel have a look at all the content I've put on there um, it's not all trout fishing as you know there's a lot of other coarse fish on there too in fact I think this may be the first trout one I've put on there Hmm. I reckon I really need to get and learn how to do a bit of fly fishing. Perhaps I'll quiz a few people who I know who do fly fishing to do some uh, sort of fly fishing 101 with me. And uh, <laughs> I can thrash away at the water like a fool and catch nothing at all, <laughs> as I fully expect to do. Oh my god, there's a load of clag coming down the river. What on earth is that? Can you see it? Look, Ugh, it's like a corpse. It's got an arm. <laughs> no, it was just a bit of weed. Well, I'm getting distracted again. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, look through my back catalogue, like some of those videos. If you look down in the description, there's um, a link to my Buy Me A Coffee uh, page and you can donate three pounds to the running cost of this channel or to maybe buy a pint. Pint of maggots, of course, so I can come back down here and catch some more beautiful trout. Or maybe look for some barbel or some chub or some roach on some different rivers. Ah, what a joy. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is pop to a local pub and have a quick pint uh, and a little celebration of actually catching fish from here. It could be tricky and I think I shall get a different type of pint other than a pint of maggots for myself. Thank you. Bye.